Mamatome, a division of Devacor Medical Products, presents an overview of vacuum-assisted breast biopsy using positron emission mammography for molecular imaging guidance. A molecular imaging guided biopsy, or MI guided biopsy, utilizes positron emission mammography to produce a high-resolution molecular image of the breast. Naviscan's PEM scanner, short for positron emission mammography, is the only high-resolution PET scanner specifically designed to offer metabolic visualization of abnormal breast tissue. With PEM, 12 tomographic slices per view are acquired, creating a 3D molecular imaging perspective of the breast, allowing visualization of lesions as small as 2 millimeters. The PEM scanner works as an adjunct to other conventional imaging procedures. Conventional breast imaging looks at the breast for anatomic changes, whereas PEM looks at the breast for metabolic activity, helping clinicians to detect, stage, and manage breast cancer earlier and more accurately than ever before. To perform an image-guided breast biopsy with PEM, two sets of components are used, the PEM imaging components and the mammatome breast biopsy components. The PEM components consist of the Stereo Navigator Breast Biopsy Guidance Software, a Needle Guide Holder Accessory Kit, the Breast Support Kit, two dimpled compression paddles, a sterile single-use line source casing, and a germanium-68 PET line source. The mammatome components used for molecular imaging biopsy guidance include an 8-gauge 115-millimeter universal targeting set, an 8-gauge 115-millimeter standard-length bladeless probe, an MR cart with upgraded software, a saddle and holster spool, docking cups, and a tube set holder an MR holster, and an inner lock box. Prior to performing the biopsy, several interventional planning steps occur. First, the clinical team reviews previous diagnostic scans. This interventional planning process assists the team to determine if the lesion should be accessed laterally or medially and to determine optimal placement of the breast on the paddle. Note a PEM biopsy is ideally conducted using a lateral or medial approach but may be performed using the CC aspect by positioning the patient in the lateral decubitus orientation. Following the interventional planning session and before the patient is brought into the procedure room, the team then proceeds with setup and calibration of the PEM and Mamatome MI equipment. During setup, the clinical team may plan the placement of the needle guide holder, the support paddles, and the universal targeting set. Just prior to the equipment setup and calibration, the patient is injected with the radio tracer FDG18, a radioactive sugar. The patient is instructed to rest quietly for about one hour to allow the radio tracer to work its way through the body. A quick, low-resolution, four-minute PEM scan is performed, usually of the hand, to confirm adequate uptake of the radio tracer. The patient is then positioned, and the breast is immobilized. The paddles immobilize the breast at half the pressure of a mammogram, gently securing it throughout the procedure. To confirm in which hemisphere of the breast the target lesion is located, an optional true lateral scan may be performed before final procedural immobilization. Safe margin should be calculated during this time. To estimate safe margin, measure from the center of the lesion to the opposite side of the breast. At least 20 millimeters must be available in order to avoid the needle tip exiting the distal side of the breast. An operator uses the Stereo Navigator targeting software to indicate where to install the needle guide holder between the paddles. The software also calculates the distance to the lesion based on the planned needle trajectory and suggests the appropriate needle guide holder size for the given breast compression distance. Based on this information, preset the support screw in the recommended needle guide holder. Presetting the support screw minimizes the number of rotations required to mount the needle guide holder. The paddles have numbered holes. The Stereo Navigator targeting software specifies in which holes to install the needle guide holder. Select the biopsy tool from the software menu. The Stereo Navigator software determines the three-dimensional X, Y, and Z coordinates. 
Set the Z depth of the targeting set with the indicator on the distal or patient side of the Z-lock. Turn the Z-lock clockwise one quarter turn to set the Z depth. Turn counterclockwise to adjust or remove the Z-lock and then set aside. With sterile gloved hands, remove the sterile line source casing from the package. A technologist then inserts the non-sterile radioactive germanium PET line source into the line source casing. Next, continuing to wear sterile gloves, attach the sterile casing handle to completely encapsulate the radioactive source. Place the mammatome probe guide spacer piece onto the proximal end of the line source casing. If the probe guide spacer is not used, the line source casing will be too long and will not accurately locate the biopsy aperture with the lesion. The scan location may be restricted to cover only the area where the abnormality is located, thereby optimizing scanning and procedure time. Examine the PEM image to confirm the needle path trajectory and sample aperture are properly located relative to the targeted abnormality. A post-biopsy mammogram is recommended to document clip placement. A short scan PEM image of the biopsy specimens may be used to confirm radio tracer uptake in the sampled tissue. The sampled tissue is then sent to pathology for analysis and diagnosis.